I live in a modular home. Modular home. I live in a modular home. Let me show you. See, like, th see, like, this is a modular home. Like, some people would call like that a trailer. See, that's actually a double wide with like a brick underpinning. Mine, mine's got a brick underpinning with a personal porch. That's a modular home. Like, these are modular homes too. See, like this one. This is built like a trailer. You know, vinyl siding, thin walls, but it's bricked under. But it also looks like a house. Same here, like this is this is closer, mine's a little bit nicer than this, but this is a modular home as well. Like this is not designed to be a trailer. Let me show what a trailer looks like. These are trailers. See how they're designed to be pulled and to move. Like I own a sing I own a trailer, I own a single wide. They have vinyl, they have vinyl underpinning. They not they don't have very good foundations. These are trailers. They're very cheap. Me and my mother signed an agreement with the house that once it's paid for, she sells it to me for a dollar. Is that agreement in writing? Yes, it is. How's it feel like to own your own home? just like I don't think I I don't think I, I knew that because I, I kind of took over payments on my child at home like this was my mother's house when I was like a teenager and I lived in it forever and I just took the payments over on it no I don't plan on selling the house I got I got the land from my grandfather when he died I got an acre here I bought an acre in Johnsonville and um but it's garbage right now like I'll, basically it's a bill been thinking about selling it but like um but i got the land from my grandfather and then i you know and like since you know since my grandfather because like my grandparents raised me when i was little i wasn't until about 10 when i got to move in with my mother your granddaddy gave you the land and you put a trailer on it wow well, my mother put a trailer on it because he was allowing, he gave her half acre because it's actually sectioned in as two different residents. Um, the way it's partitioned is you have two addresses on the acre, so it's two half acres. And we gave, gave my mother one to help her out or gave her access to, build, to put a house on one. The idea, the long-term plan was to pay this off. And after this is paid off, I'll have two houses on two separate pieces of land I can rent that will get give me anywhere from thirteen hundred to sixteen hundred dollars a month of extra income um, I think I plan on selling my land in Johnsonville eventually I was kinda hoping that the area would develop around it so I could get more of a profit off of it but like right now I'm still just breaking even off of it but like the but with land taxes and stuff like that I'm starting to lose money on it um, but I know another girl who's a heroin head and she has six properties that she'd probably let go for like $16,000. So I could probably sell my, my acre in Johnsonville for about the same price there. I don't know. But like the idea was to get into real estate a little bit more and um, move on with my portion of life, which is to, I want to go back to school and get an EMS and work somewhere. I'd love to work for Horry County Fire Department, but like if I can't get on Horry County, one of the 8,000 hospitals around here will hire an EMS. Well, I bought it because I figured it would be a good investment. Land and houses and things like that are things you can put your money into, and if shit hits the fan, you can get your money back for the most part. It might not always be dollar for dollar, but like, if you go and buy a home, say you get a starter home, like $40,000, right? And you pay five, six years, and you live in it, and you upkeep the house. And when time, to sell, when time comes, if everything in the area has stayed about the same, you can get at least $40,000 back out of it. So all the money you paid there, you get back. 
minus interest and you basically were based kind of like paying rent but you were still building your credit at the same time but you know every now and then you can get a house and then you can sell it for more you can buy a forty thousand dollar house say a school pops up or a convenience store pops up well you can sell that same house for sixty two thousand later on down the road make a twenty thousand dollar profit and you still get to live in it five years so you ended up living rent free and you moved on and you built your you built your uh credit up my house in 1998 this house cost fifty eight thousand dollars if you bought the same house today it cost you a hundred and twenty.